Good morning, YouTube, and welcome to another edition of Journey to Health Collaboration 3.0. Cue the intro. Journey to Health Collaboration version 3 with your host, Sergeant Fit. New year, new graphics. Yeah. Spared no expense. Stay frosty, my friend. Hi, and welcome back. I'm your host, Sergeant Fit. And if you're new to this series, it's a collaboration of more than 20 people sharing their health, fitness, or weight loss journey by answering a series of questions each week and posting their response on YouTube. In total, there are 12 questions. Check the description box below to see the other participants and check out their videos. Make sure you show them some love, give them a thumbs up, subscribe, share, you know the drill. This is week 10 of the Journey to Health Collaboration version 3.0. And the question for this week is, who has been your biggest influence in your personal health journey? I really can't say that I can pinpoint one individual that's been a major influence on my health slash journey fitness. But if I had to pick one person, I have to say it's me. I am my own motivator. Ugliness and fatness are genetic disorders, much like baldness or necrophilia. And it's only your fault if you don't hate yourself enough to do something about it. I really don't need an outside individual or an outside source to motivate me. I am Hans. And I am Franz, and we, we just, just want to pop you off. I enjoy fitness and health. I enjoy exercising. The greatest feeling you can get in a gym or the most satisfying feeling you can get in the gym is the pump. I enjoy eating right. So there really isn't any need to have some sort of a influence or motivation from an outside source. I am my own motivator. It's that simple. Because when the going gets tough. A tough get going! But let me add this one additional thing that, as a side note, kind of helps motivate me to maintain fitness and health. And that's looking at other people my age and seeing how unhealthy or unfit a large majority of them are. So what it comes down to is quality of life. What do I want to do as I get older? Well, that's simple. I want to do everything that I've always been doing. I'm not ready to retire. I'm not ready to hang it up. I'm not ready to sit in a rocking chair and reminisce about old times, past glory days. I'm just looking to the future, looking for new challenges, and quite frankly, not really thinking about my age. I'm just pressing on, being who I am, doing what I want to do, and staying as fit and healthy as I can. So that's it. That's a simple answer to week 10's question. If you're like me and you like to check your weight daily and record it, you may ask yourself, when is the best time to weigh yourself? Well, for me, the best time I find is first thing in the morning before eating or drinking or doing anything other than hitting the can and relieving myself. Then I go to the scale I weigh myself and I record it in my weight log. I do this prior to plunging into any daily activity. For the most reliable number, be sure to check your poundage at a consistent time, whether it's daily or weekly. Always do it during the same time. And that is Sergeant Fitz's fit tip out of his book of wisdom. Well, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, like, share, you know the drill. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos. So in conclusion, everybody don't forget, eat clean, train insane, make good choices, and always stay fit. Until next video, Sergeant Fit out. Six or one. Why are you still here? It's over. Click on another video, you know you want to. Or subscribe. I'll see you later. 600, 2, 600, 3.